Like, if we would have had more, that would have been a lot, a lot of fun because, like, like I said, we clicked and we knew what we were doing to a point where, like, we had our stuff down pat. Like, we were good, man. So E on the mic, episode 31. I am your host, E, aka Ethan, and I got a special guest today on the show. He is from the Pembroke Pines Charter High School football team. He used to play there. He is graduating this year. He was a former teammate of mine at the other end of the defense. Introducing Vinny. What's going on? What's good, Ethan? What's good? What's good? What's going on, while, man? Vinny? The weekend of the party. What's going on? <laughs> it's like, you been, man. Exactly, bro. Because I remember you was you was the bigger guy. You you were always had that height on you. So they put you as like the strong end. The weekend I had containment, backside containment. I won't forget that. <laughs> hey, man. I had strength. You, you know, you knew I had strength there a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, listen, I, I was I was a scrawny 150 pounds, but I still had strength, though. <laughs> yeah, same, honestly, same with me. Like, for being this skinny, I was pretty strong. I'm not going to front. Well, I got surprised. Yeah, that's like high school. At least at, for high school, though, it's, it's still good. Consider it good. You know? Exactly, 100%. Yeah. If yeah. you got the strength, you got the power. You know, you know what's a crazy <laughs> thing that, that one coach told, them, told me about? If it wasn't for Coach Willis, I would have been a tight end. Why? Like, what, what do you tell you, though? He said, he said that if I was like, if I was a head coach, I wouldn't put you at DM, but I would have put you at tight end for be in the offense more for the block and then catch. Because I can catch, but like, just I can't run as fast like the uh, like Jason or Ralph or Tyler. I couldn't run like that. You, you feel me? Like I couldn't run like that. Yeah, I get you at all. Like, but I can, I can still catch. I can still run. That's why they put me in like a tight end as a backup. Mm. That was like special teams and stuff like that. But enough about me. Let's get into you, Vinny. So. Tell me about the four years that you start that you started uh, uh, charter at the position well, of defensive end or other. Let's see. Uh, like I I joined technically like the spring season of my freshman year. Like I joined a little bit before because I wanted to join the workouts on the football team and everything. So I didn't go through like you know the the fall season in my freshman year. But Patrick and Aiden and like Brendan. You know, Richardson, be rich. Like, a lot of people in my grade had told me, like, join the football team, join the football team. You'll enjoy it. You'll have fun. You know what I'm saying? And I did, honestly. Like, you know, going through day by day, you'd be like, oh, man, I'm so sore. Like, I'm I'm tired. Oh, I don't want to practice it. But, like, at the end of practice, you'd, like, you'd feel accomplished. You'd feel happy. Like, you, would, I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't go back and trade it for anything. Like, I enjoy it. It made me who I am today. You know what I'm saying? It grew character. It grew me. And it really helped, but, like, see, I was defensive end. I remember the first spring game we went against, like, uh, I think it was Miami Christian. And I was defensive end, and I I, I lined up in a wide nine. Coach always told me, line up in a wide nine and just make sure nothing goes outside of you. Push them in. And that was, that was like, I had played football at, like, Pasadena, like, for the Pasadena Panthers when I was a little kid. But, like, I had never played high school football before. So all that shit was kind of new to me. Oh, part of my profanity. I don't know You're if you know good. personal. It's, 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 it's a connection. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's that type of episode. It's all good. Uh, yeah, all right. And, like, I don't know. So, like, high school ball was a whole different game. But, like, I, I picked it up kind of fast. Even I remember when spring season started freshman year, I I broke, you know, a Devin Schwartz. Yeah. I broke oh, that was wrist. you? <laughs> yeah, I broke his wrist. Like, the first oh day of full pads. He called me out. I was supposed to go against uh, Zachary Jones, I think it was. Yeah. You know, Zachary with the curly hair in your grade. He yeah, 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 yeah. I was supposed to go against him, and I was a little freshman. I was like, damn, I'm really going to go against this kid. And then D1 Devin is what he called himself. I guess people called him that, I guess. Oh God, I heard that so much. And he called me out. And so I, I went up and I hit him. And he, like, after, like, the contact, I'm not going to lie, because that was the first time. It was the first day of pads. I closed my eyes before I hit him. Oh, and then man. I opened my eyes again. And I just see him on the floor. And he's, like, holding himself. And he's like, ah. Oh, pain. my God. 
God. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then it's funny because, like, everyone started hyping me up. It was, like, Will, Jason, Tyler, all those seniors were, like, ah, like, slamming my helmet. Like, I felt more dizzy from all of them hitting my helmet than, like, hitting with Devin. Oh, my God. So, like, and, and then, yeah, I, I decided, I think it was, like, over the summer or something or, like, late, late or in the spring. They, we were at Pasquale's one day with the, the soon-to-be seniors, like all of them, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Jason, Nana, Will, and they were like, yo, you should change your name to D1 Vinny, take take the title. And I was like, heck yeah, how do I change my name in the group chat? And then I changed my name in the group chat, and then uh, Coach Willis thought it was so funny. And that's why ever since then, Coach Willis loved me. Because he used to think I was some like scrawny little white boy. And then I actually like proved myself. By you know showing up the other little scrawny white boy and showed him that I, I I have some freaking heart I have some passion you know what I'm saying Oh my gosh you know how many times I heard that man's story in PE I had him in my class in one of my classes he was like yo this guy he like legit broke my arm and was like kind of like this I was like yo like that's oh, bad man. for you man but like, it's like I'm gonna be the quarterback of this team eventually it's like I don't think he ever did at some point yeah. but. We try to switch to boxing, basketball. No, oh, yeah, he, he was, was trying to go to basketball too. I remember he would always try to get hard on basketball, but that's interesting because I remember hearing about D1 Vinny a lot, a little bit more. I was that's why I was like D1 Vinny. I was I was wondering whether your or, origin went there, and now I know now. <laughs> I know now. Yeah, because like I I know I'm probably not going D1 my senior. I'm like I weigh like a buck fifty right now at five eleven. I mean, I mean, I know you. I know you were offered D two, right? Like it, it was like some D three. Oh, I think D3, it was like Rhodes College in like in like, but but screwing nowhere in Tennessee. And I was like, I was I really like I like football, but I think for my first year of college, I kind of want to do something like uh, I want to focus more on school. And mm -hmm. then like I I I've always loved UCF, so I applied there. Like I have family that's went there before, so like I know the campus and stuff. And, you know, maybe after the first year, I'll try walk on, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'll try walk yeah. on the practice squad or something, you know, get, get into the field. But I want to I want to make sure my grades are good and steady. I have a good base. But and then maybe try and pursue football in the future because I don't know. Yeah, it's more I, important I, to me. Yeah, I, I it's just like trying to focus on the grades more, kind of focus on your first year, trying to get get comfortable on the campus and then if you feel comfortable then go into the football you know it's crazy i can see you on special teams on that team though special teams i, I see you as more of a special teams guy so you can make those plays so i know you can make exactly. those plays yeah i mean i was on special teams a lot though like i remember i was on like every special teams against field goal like all three years like three and a half years i played like i remember coach willis i would be on punt punt return kickoff kick return and then he just leave field goal like field goal would be the offensive team you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. and then i played defense uh, at first i started out as end but then he kind of he switched up like how we play like it went from like a what do we we ran a four four three right when we were, you were there yeah we ran a four four three i remember it was like four on the line four four yeah, yeah that, that's exactly what exactly we yeah or maybe it was a five three Three, I don't know for sure. I remember there was four people on the line. It was me, you on the other end. There was Charles, and then there was Michael in the middle. I don't remember there was a fifth guy. I don't remember the. I think it was like that the four four three. Maybe you're right. I don't remember a fifth I'm guy in there. That's yeah, because I, I definitely remember we changed it up after like year year left and graduated. Yeah. And we we switched up to like there's three down linemen, and then there's technically like five linebackers. There's like three linebackers in the middle, you know. And then there was me and Mason. He called them dog backers almost. So, like, we could go up to the line more. Like, we could drop back. Like, you know, using your speed and your mobility as an advantage to, like, like trick people. Like, this year, I feel like me and Mason really got the hang of it. Like, understanding the dog backer position. Because, like, especially when we played Pompano, he did really good. Like, we would, like, creep up on the line. And then he'd be, like... 44 is blitzing, 44 is blitzing, and then he'd see that they called him out, so he'd step back, and then, like, I'd step in to rush, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And it was, it was like, a good, like, combination, like, I'm, man, I wish our senior year, we had more games, because no, we, we I heard you guys went undefeated this year, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we went, I mean, against the team we played against, we would have played against, I think it was Coconut Grove we were supposed to play against, 
But then, like, someone on the team got COVID, and we had to take the two-week break, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, we were – that's the – because they smacked MacArthur, like, 43 to 7, Ooh. something like that. It was it was in the 40s to, like, 14 to 7 or something. And, like, that's why I was – I would – I it would have been an interesting game for sure. Like, I think we could have fought it because I'm not going to lie. If we would have played MacArthur, I think it would have been an even interesting game, like – I wish and that's why I wish we would have had like more games that year, at least five, you know what I'm saying? Because no. we got two canceled because of COVID. And so like if we would have had more, that would have been a lot, a lot of fun because like like I said, we clicked and we knew what we were doing to a point where like we had our stuff down pat. Like we were good, man. Like Yeah, I mean I was I was keeping updates on it a little bit. I always kind of check up and I was like, oh one oh, two oh, three oh. I'm like yeah, exactly. Be, are they being legit? And they went four and all. It's like, damn. Especially, I like, I like Mason. Especially since he got offered, offered to a, to a college man. That man's pretty good though. That man, he's been working yeah, hard. Since the first time I saw him, do I see him now? Oh my god, that man's a different beast. That man's a different beast. That man, be training. He's changed. He got his confidence. That's what it was. All it really is in football is like the confidence and the mentality. I feel like he wasn't like scared, but he was just unsure of himself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then I think, like, this year, like, even, like, because Coach Willis is probably the hardest on, like, me and Mason on the defense or Geo, to be honest, maybe, too. Because, like, the positions we play are really important. Like, you know, if someone gets outside of us or, you know, depending on what we, what our coverage is or what we have to do, like, if someone gets past us, like, they're screwed. Like, we're screwed. Like, it can get past, like, D-line, linebackers, like, you know, like, the safeties are the last line of defense and stuff. But, like, in certain situations, if they get past us, like, they're yeah, gone. Maybe a make or break deal. If you make a make or break deal in the game alone. Because if they pass you, that's it. That's gone. They're gone to the house. Exactly. That's what I remember that's when my, when I was playing. Just, what, what was what was the team that we played? North Broward Prep. They were running all, all, all over us. I remember that game. Mm -hmm. That game, especially since I was like mostly like, like the tallest person, everyone was scared. I was like, let's get this going, man. I want to, I just want to hit. <laughs> I just want to hit. Exactly. I, still, I still remember that one missed tackle I did, and I just didn't want to let him go to the house. So I had to face mask that guy. <laughs> I had to face mask him, which Dang. I know, I know Coach Willis tells me, he's like, yo, if you had hit him, that man, you probably would have get like some notice, but like, I miss this fight so much because I went too much inside and the guy was coming outside more. And I was like, yeah. I was already screwed up because I went too much inside. That was going to go with the quarterback. And yeah, I, feel I was like, I ain't going to let, I know there was already times on your side when like 70 yards plus. And I was like, nah, I ain't going to let no 70 yard plus go on my side. <laughs> yeah. Because when you think about it, because I remember when Coach Willis after the game was like, yo, Ethan, like, you did so much. I know I, I know the penalty's wrong and all that. I know, but most of that run was going more to your side, I felt. But I didn't say anything because I take the blame on that penalty, you know? I felt like I, I have I have the film. I remember I watched they didn't they didn't run that much to my I wouldn't say run. They would run up the middle. That's what they did all the time. Because they didn't run to my side that much. Like I even Coach Willis would talk to me that game. He he said like I because I didn't I don't think I got any penalties that game. And I had oh, a I couple good penalty. tackles. I had a couple good tackles that game, and he was like, dang, because that was the first game of that season, and that was, like, the first regular season. I remember he told me, he's like, dang, that wasn't bad for your first time, you know, like, your first regular season game. Like, you made tackles. Like, you actually contributed. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. Because they, they were a good team overall, and we weren't really prepared. No. You, you know you know the culture was bad is when the coaches are actually hyping us up. That's how bad it was. That's how bad the culture was at that time. Mm. Nah, I, mean, I see. Mm, that's that's not even bad culture. That's just supporting your kids. Like, no, we I had we had a team that needed to be built, and if you keep on bringing down those kids, the foundation is never going to be built. That's that's what I think Coach Willis realized after a while. That's why he stopped being as much as a uh, hard. Crucial. I would say like a hardy, more harsh. No, yeah, that's why he stopped being as harsh because I feel like he realized that. You know, if you start telling these kids, like, good job and tell them what they're doing right, like, they realize this stuff and they're like, shoot, like, I'm doing good on this. Let's keep it up. Let's, you know, positive affirmations. Yeah, because it can make, it can break or make a kid confidence. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I mean, I see that. I mean, I see that. Because I remember when I was on, I was on the team, though, I was like, I saw, like, everybody was like, I was in there because, you know, I was always trying to get hype and stuff like that on practice and stuff like that and in games as yeah. well. 
But there was, I felt like at some time, I always see like other people around us just there just to like, hey, I'm just here because I'm fine, you know? Kind of like that Marshall Lynch type of quote. That's what yeah. I feel sometimes. Like someone that were just there, you know, just trying to get a girl or something like that, you know? But it's not really there, you know? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I could tell there were some people that were like, Johnny Cusack was there. I could see that, Rob. I know you were there, you know? Like I could tell people that were there and there were some people there looked like, just like, I'm just here, you know, getting a school activity, something like that. You know? Yeah, I'm just here. Like you said, I'm just here so I won't get fined. Like, I'm here to do something, like, so I'm not, I don't know. So you could tell some people's hearts weren't in it. Yeah, I mean, like, I know, I know my heart was there. I mean, I was going through, like, mental mental time because I know, I know when I when I left, when I left the team, I think probably a lot of people were probably confused of why I left or something like that. Which I don't think I told. I don't think I told you why I left. Did I or no? No, nah, you didn't tell me. The coach Willis didn't even tell us. He was like, you know, Ethan is kind of just going through some stuff right now, and he's doing his thing. You know, we loved his support. We loved his help. And yeah, it, it sucked. I missed my other end. Man, I like listen. Like when I when I did that, that was like a hard hard decision that I ever did because I never left any team sport ever. Like ever. Like I played throughout my basketball thing. And I was like in football, and I was. I want to do the whole entire season, but like me mentally there, I wasn't even there. Like I wasn't like I, my, my football heart was there, but my mind wasn't even there at all. Like it was that bad. And I was like, yeah, going through, like, a, like a bad breakup and stuff like that. And things were going bad south for me and mentally. So it was like, yeah, I had, some things I don't, you know, you know, the crazy part is there was some points in time. I really wanted to throw my helmet on the, on the ground. Actually, that's how bad it was. Like, and I knew if you yeah. threw your helmet, you were going to run around that track, that, that field. Like, yeah, because Coach Willis doesn't understand that disrespect, man. He didn't no, uh, yeah, I, know, I understand him. I was like, I was tempting to, but I was like, nah, I'm not trying to run. <laughs> I was yeah, like, I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to run. But that, that was, it was the toughest part, you know. I, I, I was still playing, you know. I know I was on the line right now because of Kosher. Because I remember Kosher was kind of trying to outseat me a little bit because of how because I didn't do that as well on that game. So I remember that. And I think probably some people thought, hey, maybe he was just giving the Kosher, you know. But... Uh, Kosher was young. He, now Kosher has become a Kosher became a beast. Oh no, I know he came became a beast. I know, I know. I, I saw I saw something in him that he he was done a much better job. But you know, at the same time, I probably would have fought for that. You know. Exactly. Yeah, it's the difference. It, well, back then, is thing of it like it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Back then, when like you gotta fight for your spot. No, yeah. no doubt, no doubt about it. I would I would have fought that spot. I just wasn't there. You know, I wouldn't. He's like, I was going there every day. I was going there, like, before that that kind. I was like, I was going there, like, all right, I'm going to get some hits. But he's always, you know, I always love Oklahoma drills. I always love those. I always tell that to anybody. I always love the Oklahoma drills. I don't care mm-hmm. how skinny, how big you are. I will go at it. I'll go exactly. at it. Exactly. You remember me. I will volunteer there. Hey, let me get in there. Let me get in there. I always exactly. volunteer. Did you know, you remember Skylar? Uh-huh. Skylar would be the one, like, going behind everybody. He's like, yeah, let me just kind of screech my... <laughs> Let me slide back here, yeah. Yeah, hey, and then Coach Willis calls him out. Skyler, get your ass up here. Exactly. I'm on all those days. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Skyler, by the way, if he ever listens to this thing. <laughs> but yeah, I just, exactly. I just remember that. You just man, that man be now he's like buff as up, but still that man, that man was like trying to ease his way out, trying like a snake, trying to get out of there. Like, yeah, let me just sneak my way out of here. Not gonna get not gonna get one-on-ones, you know, but you know how much I was more enthusiastic. I even had to be an old lineman for because of Michael. Because Michael, when he was a freshman, he was he just like said, "Like this, I'm out and stuff." So I had to be old line for one time. Which Michael? Michael uh, the I can't I can't remember his last name. I can't remember Michael Brown. Michael Brown. There you go, Michael Brown. Which he he was like he was like having a fit. I had to volunteer to be old line. I was like, eh, let me do it. Fine, let's go." That's not how tall of a player I was. I, was, I don't even care if I was old line, tight end, whatever. I'll go for it. You know? Exactly. Play whatever you can get. Play a time more at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, special teams. I, I, special teams was brutal. When I went there, when I went to in practice, I remember the, the last day I went to special teams. And I remember I was going up there, like, there's a big guy coming at me. I was like, oh, shit. Okay, so let me not try to get laid out. Let me not try to get laid out. So what I did, I kind of went with my shoulder right here. And I hit him like real hard like this. Because you know how much you can impact with like, with, the, with your forearm. Yeah. Forearm. The first time didn't feel nothing. The second time I was like, holy sh the, the helmet really hit really hard and I had a yeah, it was a huge bruise. And I was like, Oh my god, the bruise, oh my god. <laughs> and it's like, nah, this is nothing. Like like I I, I went through it. It was painful, but you know, you gotta go through it at the same time. <laughs> exactly. You gotta just fucking grind through it. 
Heck let yeah. me let me ask you another question though. What what was your what was the most what's the favorite season you ever had at Charter? If you had a favorite one. Fresh, my favorite season now. What, what would be my favorite, favorite season one? definitely had to be this year. Like I, it was, it was just like the being a senior, like the mentality around it, like being able, like you're, you're at the top of the food chain. You know what I'm saying? Like you look down on all those other people when you play these other teams. Like you're like, I look at these other people and I'm like, no one's older than me, really. Like they're all seniors with me. There's gonna be juniors and sophomores on the team. Like I remember when I was that kid, a little bit like scared of those big guys, those big linemen, like. But I wasn't, I, you know, you were a little bit scared, but you just got to freaking run full speed at him. Yeah. You can knock him on your butt. If you run full speed, catch him off guard. I remember even my, my skinny behind I used to, like, bull rush some of the linemen. And it works sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So like I got, got through with some of the linemen, you know, which is crazy enough. The only lineman I never got through was Johnny Kusak, which was which is crazy to think about. Because I could never get out of it. You always bulldoze my... <laughs> Like every time, oh, every man. time, every time I faced up to him, I was like, ah, oh, yeah, this is gonna be bad for me. Oh, <laughs> Everybody man, else, I, I, I can handle a bit, you know. I can go through some of them, and then I can handle, can handle. What, what was his name? I, I can't remember his name. He had a curly hair. I forgot his name. I, I know I'm Chili. bad. Chili. Say it again. Chili. I think it's Chili. Chili. I mean, I can handle a little bit of him more, but Kuzak, man, that man, that man, pulled those my ass to the ground. Man, for me, it was always Chili was the hardest. Chili. Kuzak. He was big, but I would do the push pull technique, and I'd leave him on the floor. I'd I'd get him. I'm I have I have film of it. I remember because I made it a highlight because oh they recorded God. the practices one time of where like where we you know where we would line up, like yeah, offense yeah. versus defense kind of, and we do like not necessarily like the board drills, but like you know what I'm saying where he's like, all right, the tackle versus the end, go, and then I'd I'd even charge at him because I'd be fast. I'd grab put my hands on him, I push him back, and then literally just with all my might just rip him down, and he. would fall to the floor and uh that was my favorite move i, I think that's probably w- why i couldn't come past him because i always try to pull charge on him and then yeah. the, the ear we flying away that, you can't, I think you can't, like, what were you gonna say i think that was the reason why i couldn't get through him because like, i kept trying to push him out out of the way but yeah you know, like look at his size at that time and look at my size during that time i was like there's no way if this man gets it's pushed by by him. It's like you, gotta, you suck as an old lineman, but yeah, you gotta use technique. Yeah, I know. My my technique was out out of the place. I mean, I had a little bit, but it's not like it was not like a lot. It was not a lot. I'll tell you that. But I, I got through with some of them. Some of them got through at least at least some of yeah, them. Yeah, you know. I got you. I got you. Which it was just crazy <laughs> enough to think about, especially that play. Sheesh. I still remember that one time I had a helmet on. It just went on the floor, <laughs> just getting flied like like I'm Jordan. Ooh. Hey, that was bad. Exactly. Yeah. This was too it's much. Like like that. You, you know, you know the story. I, I know. I, I said it. I said this one to Zachary, but I said this. But I can tell you this story. The reason how, like, you know, you see me on social media sometimes with my eyes like wide as hell. Like sometimes you kind of see me a little bit like this, kind of like that, like that, like that type of eyes. Like yeah, that. yeah. You know the reason what how I got that. Huh. So I so like a, going back to that own line where I was being like being the old line, right? So Jason would come yeah. up to me, he would run and just go hits me in the pads like this. It's like, yeah, all right, let's go. Right? So then when he came back, yeah. when he came back, I was like, all right, let's go. And he's like, what the Because <laughs> he wasn't exactly. expecting none of that. He was not expecting none of that towards like from me, you know, because I'm always like that quiet guy, quiet guy, make yeah, sure, exactly. sure things get done, you know. Like I want to bring uh-huh. enough room, but I know what what I gotta do in the field. But I, I, especially in practice, man, I was I'll make I'll make it happen. Things that you don't expect from me is like, yo, what the hell? He can exactly, do that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, feel, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And th- that's how I Good actually job. got that. And when when people see see me with those crazy eyes, like, yo, how the hell does this man go with those crazy eyes? My family even does that to me too. It's like, yo, I can't even do what you do right there with those eyes. Like, no, I can't. So that's why I can do like Adam Gates impression like that. That's how I can do an Adam Gates impression. <laughs> yeah, the crazy eyes, man. With the, with the Jets conference, that man was on was on some salts or stuff like that, or some crack. <laughs> he was off something. He was off something. That man, that's that man was sure. on something. But like, like, like that was a, that was a great story. I always love telling, especially from that, especially to now when uh when I went to prom, that man that man scared the hell out of me when I was trying to suit. Also, this is another story. I was trying to sue. This man came in behind me. I felt like like this. I was like, oh, my God. 
Because <laughs> I was with my mom, my little cousin at the time when she was about like maybe like one or two years old. And this man came behind me and was like, oh, shoot, what's going on, Jason? <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't realize that man was behind me because I was like, I wouldn't mean, think my mom would do that because my mom, my mom, she, I had to break it, but she's mm. shorter than me, you know, which is crazy enough. Because I'm 6'2", my mom is actually like 5'1", actually, which is crazy enough to think about. You know? I mean, how tall is your dad? My dad's six foot. Yeah, that makes a little bit of sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because if in the night, I'll probably be in your height, probably a little bit shorter than your height right now. Exactly, yeah. And nothing exactly. against the 5'11 people, but you know you know the algorithms of that one. <laughs> yeah, I know. If I was just like, you know, an extra inch taller, you know what I'm saying? Like the 5'11 hey, is 6'11. Hey, foot. Vinny, Vinny, key, key points here. Drink, so, drink a little bit more milk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> drink exactly. a little bit more Stretch. milk and you got it. You got it. I'm telling you. <laughs> And then you get everybody's like, look, you're six foot. You should get some girls, right? Wrong. Yeah, I look six foot enough. You know what I'm saying? With the poofy hair. Yeah, with the poofy. Yeah, my hair makes it make it look six four a little bit. If you want to, if you want to be realistic, but yeah, no, I'm six two. It's it's all good. It's all good. I'll, I'll take it. You know, I'll take it now. Yeah, you take what you can get. You take what you I'll get. Be. I'll tell you that much. But Vinny, man, I really appreciate you coming on the show, man. As always, man great friend of mine especially at the other end as i used to call him, weekend vinny or ak vinny the d1 vinny who should be a d1 he might be in d1 you never know in the future yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. if i get lucky if you get hey if you get never lucky. know you never know you can walk on there next thing you know you get a scholarship for some odd, some odd reason you'd be on espn <laughs> next thing you know i hope so man one day one day there's always day. you always gotta believe in the dream just like this dream right here that i'm doing right now you always gotta believe yeah, exactly. in the dream Sure, follow yeah. your dreams hard. If you put exactly. your heart you and soul like... to it, it might work. It might just work. It might just work. Hey, just can't give up on it. That's all I'll tell you that much. If I had any advice, no, no. never give up on it. You just never know where it takes you. Amen. Yeah, exactly. 100%. Like, you got to follow it. You got to see it to the end. You got to see it to the end of the end. light. Where the end of the light is, that's where you know what, what your outcome came. So that's always yeah, a good yeah. thing to about. But any shout outs, man, before I end this end this end this episode. Um, just shout out to you know the team right now, because you know they're they're in a rebuilding, I guess a rebuilding process, you know, reconstruction. They're they're trying to put their stuff together for fall. I'm excited to see what they do in the fall. Cause it should be interesting. They should have like a regular season again. Yeah, my shout out to my cat because he wants to come <laughs> in on his name. Second appearance of the cat comes on the show. <laughs> yeah. He just pulled up out of nowhere. He enjoys this though. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Shout out to Zach, I guess. He's Dino. That boy Dino. Dino. You remember that run? The run of Dino? <laughs> you know, that, yeah, his little, like, whatever. I don't even would call that a run. She's a runner. She's a track star. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh man, that oh, I need a I need a video of freaking. Oh no, no worries, no worries. As soon as we end this, wait, wait until Instagram later on. Don't worry, don't worry. I got you, I got you. Don't worry. TikTok already experienced it, so you already know. Thank I already you. gotta put it on there the later. Thank you. I like that. I like that, man. Heck yeah. No you worry, gotta send it no to worry. me. Send it to me. But appreciate once again. Appreciate all coming on the show, Vinny. Always a guest of the show. Anytime you want to come on to promote anything, man, we can chat chat up once more again as usual, Vinny. Just let me know, Heck yeah. as always. Heck yeah, I enjoy, man. Thank you for having me on here. I enjoyed it. As always, man. Okay. But thank you guys for listening to E on the Mic, episode 31. I'm your host, E, and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, see you then. <laughs>